Yeah, I know. I haven't made a video in a long, long time, but... Well, lots of shit's gone down and lots of shit have changed. <sighs> and, of course, as we all know, Trump's been making one win after another, which isn't surprising, given the simple fact that a lot of voters have been getting a... Well, very self-centered. If but one degree of what they don't want doesn't happen, they end up going all against the Democratic Party and screaming, ranting like lunatics. <sighs> Which I knew was going to happen because this shit always happens. And, you know, you got every generation going, oh, I'm better than the last generation. And then fuck it all up for everybody else. The only generation who actually did any real good was maybe the baby boomers. Everybody else is... F every other fucking generation has fucked it up it, even worse. And the millennium generation has no different. And they're showing that they're just as racist as all the other generations. So where's that newfound generational gap? Or that they're more tolerant? That was a load of crap. Well, then again, I knew that was a load of crap from day one. Unless you're... Uh, and then you got that moron, uh, amazing atheist. Just, you know, showing how much self-centered of a fucking idiot he is. And he, he still does it even today. Because, <sighs> you know... And, of course, you got the fall of Arkansas. Uh, you know, Sergeant, Sarjan, or Khan, or whatever the fuck he wants to call himself, I don't give a flying fuck. The man is a fucking hypocritical nonsense shithead. And, you know, I made past videos about him. Especially when he was fighting that half-witted idiot Thunderfoot. Because, and as I stated, I don't like extreme SJW assholes. Like what happened with uh, Amy Pascal and the whole Ghostbusters mess. That that woman had what was coming to her. And all the bullshit that she pulled. But I really also hate the extreme MRA guys. Because, or what they call themselves, the skeptical community, which they're not. Because I'm p part of the original skeptic group before this little skeptic group joined. They're full of shit. The, a real skeptic would have looked at both sides and realized that they were both dicks. Because extreme MRA, MRR, or male rights activist groups are so unbelievably self-centered little shits. And they're like my biological father. If you don't know, my biological father, you know decided to scream like a madman and punch my biological mother around, break my fucking arm, and, well, he's the reason why I was left at a Texas adoption agency, and even though I got recontacted with my biological father, the he still says that Every time she got hit, or all that time was all her fault, and it was either my fault or, or someone else's fault that my arm got broken. Never his fault. Never the fact that he's on drugs. Now that he's on large amount of antipsychotics, even on his fucking deathbed with stage four fucking cancer and a punctured lung, he's still claiming that it was everybody else's fault. More bullshit after more bullshit. And both... <laughs> I'm still part of that whole... Uh, the original skeptic community. Not that bullshit group that Sergeant Icon and his little group put together. Who, who, which is now falling apart. Because as you know, Monday Matt uh, was caught flagging. And then... Because I, I knew that little shit was behind something, as you could tell by my past videos on Mundane Matt. <laughs> yeah. And, and I put up a video, you know, of both Sergeant McCutt and Mundane Matt basically saying that they were both con artists. And they are. 
So is Amazing Atheist and Thunderfoot. Because, <laughs> you know, they're anti-feminist shit. And blame everything on the fucking feminists and the women. <laughs> Which... And it didn't help that, you know, the Amy Pascal did her whole Ghostbuster bullshit. Which nobody in the SJ... Which half of most of everybody in the SJ groups disagreed with and fe- found Amy Pascal was just another fucking bitch. I mean, you got Sergeant Khan making a fucking anti-Black pan- Panther movie uh, video. I mean, yeah, making an anti-Black Panther video. Saying ridiculous nonsense after nonsense about how the movie is a SJW fucking bullshit crap and fast. Just like that one guy, uh, no bullshit, who kept saying that he, uh, that a whole thing about alpha males and how alpha males can only prove themselves among women when that motherfucker's a fat ass piece of shit who fell asleep at a conference and a bunch of people took pictures of him while he was asleep. And then you got, and of course, all these people are literally now just fighting each other. Which I knew how that was going to fucking end. The only thing is, you know, Amazing Atheist still, you know, sucks Thunderfoot's cock whenever he, you know, t- you know, Thunderfoot whips that shit out. And, you know, and of course, Arkin Salon is the only one who seems... And, of course, Amazing Atheist, even though Thunderfoot disagrees, it, I mean, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm going ahead of myself here. Arkansas is basically standing up for a rapist that is now in the Supreme Court. And I know, because that man has the same look my biological father had when every time he fucking lied. It's the same self-centered bullshit. It's not my fault. It's all their fault. They're the ones who caused this. Or, you know, stand there and have Trump sit there and ridicule the rape victim in front of everybody. I mean, just like how everybody stood up for Bobby Brown when he turned fucking... I'm sorry, I was misinformed. Uh, Chris Brown, you know, everybody stood... A, a lot of people stood up for... Chris Brown, when he basically beat the living shit at Rihanna and turned her face into fucking hamburger meat. Have you guys seen the photos of Rihanna? I'll post one. Just, or I'll put it up one on the video. Just, just to show you the type of people that these extreme MRA guys defend. It's not pretty, is it? And they still defend Chris Brown, by the way. Claiming that it was her fault. You know, once, uh, you know, now that that asshole's in fucking, now that the Republicans own everything, uh, we all know that Obamacare and, of course, Roe v. Wave is good as dead. They're they're both going to be dead. Uh, Which means... There's going to be a fuck tons of deaths. And I am going to just sit on a lying chair, watch some dude die of a fucking heart attack, screaming why nobody cares for him anymore. And I'm saying, you voted Republican, but the Republicans are great to me. Yo, save me, Republicans, save me! And then watch the women stand there like, well, my reproductive rights are done. I'm going to jump off this roof. And then have that husband saying, well, it's your fault. It's your fault that I had to go against you and take your fucking rights away, bitch. Now you're dead. And um, and I have no children. Fuck. Because that's what they're going to do. That's how this shit's going to end. And I'm going to laugh my fucking ass off. Why? Because I'm a monster. I never really gave a shit on either end. And I am going to enjoy watching them. I mean, everybody literally forgets why we really brought in Roe v. Wade. The real reason why we brought in Roe v. Wade was that a lot of pregnant women got abortions regardless if it was illegal. And a lot of times they went to back alley abortion areas where they were using... Some of them were just 
flat out using, you know, coat ringer racks and just scraping out that child. And it did so much damage that the women died as well. And uh, and I I know he's like, well, they got what they deserve for murdering those children. Oh, guess what? <laughs> it was an unfortunately large amount of women that kind of almost ended the population. I mean, it was basically every week a woman was dying to the point that they're like, fuck, we have to do something. Like, the reason why we really shut down asylums, the real reason why we shut down asylums, or why John F. Kennedy was forced to shut down asylums, and he was forced to shut them down, which most people think... You know, you know why uh, John F. Kennedy shut down asylums? He had to because they were kind of taking all these black males and giving them frontal lobotomies against their wills and doing other illegal experiments. Not just with blacks, but with a whole bunch of groups of people and even whites. And <laughs> it kind of boiled up to a a shit fest. And, of course, the massive deaths. And now we've got, like, school shootings every fucking minute. I mean, near, nearly every fucking month. And nobody gives a flying fuck. You people have literally become the rock bottom of horrible, demented fucking human beings. You've actually managed to become worse than palm scum. I mean, you just sit there... And just watch your own fucking children die and still defend your fucking children, uh, your fucking guns. And don't care that your daughter's now six feet in the fucking ground, dead. This is a new level of self centeredness in every fucking level of the United States that I knew was coming because. And I and, and and I can't thank you on how well of a great show that you've shown yourselves. I mean, when I say that when I want after my father dies, when my biological father passes away, which will be soon, I'm probably go to his grave and piss and shit all over the fucking thing. And you called me a fucking monster. You guys sat there and didn't give a flying fuck about your brothers and sisters getting gunned down in the middle of fucking Las Vegas or anywhere else. You had to protect your fucking gun rights. <laughs> Who's the real fucking monster? Because when you're a bigger monster than me, you failed. Badly. In all this... Because you didn't like a woman to be in your presidency office. Because you didn't like the fact that she supported Amy Pascal in the fucking Ghostbuster mess. Great rewards come to the most when the most self-centered asshole gets extremely self-centered. That they will sit there and not even give a shit about their own children dying. Or that their wives will have no more rights. Or their daughters will have to grow up and be forced to marry a man against her fucking will. Just so they can do... Have some kind of say. <laughs> oh, man. What are you going to do? Bring back when the uh, New Orleans had it where it was legal to basically beat a woman in the middle of the streets? Yeah, check it out. That shit was legal for a while in the streets of New Orleans. They even had competitions on who could beat their wives the hardest. That's not a joke. That actually happened somewhere about the 1930s or 20s. But, yeah. Thank you for showing that you're more evil than I am. Dumb fucking idiots.